what advice would you give for a game that's coming out of the MENA region that wants to break into a European market? Well, uh, first of all, what you should consider what what re um, what replies to European games if they want to go to the MENA games, which is a lot of localization, what I've heard right now. Uh, that replies to MENA gaming too, so you cannot, you cannot take an Arab game into the European market and just take it one to one and expect it to be uh, taken by the users, right? So first you need, of course, language localization, and sometimes if there's a story which is related to Arabic uh, countries, well, you know, Nobody in the European countries can, can do anything with that topic, so we need to see if that is working out, right? So first, uh, I would I would just see if that game would work. What do you know thus far about the Mean Reasons gaming markets? Well, it's the first time actually uh, that I am here in the in the Middle East, and I came here without any knowledge uh, about the MENA gaming and uh, but as far as I've learned right now there is huge potential but there is missing a lot to, to, to use the potential like um, <laughs> it seems to me like everyone is working for themselves instead of like, networking and work together even though they are competitors, they can learn from each other a lot. And I mean, you know, I, as far as I've uh, got the information, there are like three major um, publishers out here for the whole MENA region. And um, there are no marketing, like real marketing agencies who, are, who focus on the MENA region and the MENA culture. And then there is not enough investment, and then education, everyone, every programmer goes somewhere else because there's much more money to make. Those are things that are missing here, and, and if you cannot guarantee something like that, the infrastructure, then um, I, I believe it's hard to make a lot of revenue here in this region. And this is of course what companies are looking for, they want to do revenue, right? And not just be successful in terms of, of MENA. Monetization models in the games are lagging a lot. So, um, I mean, in Europe, if, if, if I take a look at Europe in the last five years, how monetization models uh, have, been, have been advanced, then it was kind of doing by learning, right? So, uh, inner purchases. There are so many different uh, ways to do inner purchases in a game. And um, as Carson yesterday told too, like if, if, if you go too hard on monetization only, um, nobody's going to play. Um, so I see you need, you need to have a good balance between players who want to just play and players who want to pay. And here I think um, it is more about the game itself. Needs to be fun, and, and then monetization comes like in second place. From the people you've met in yeah. the last two days, um, talking to them who are who are working in the region, yeah. what um, what what have you learned from them in terms of how they're approaching getting their game out there? That everyone has an own strategy. <laughs> so there's there's nothing like okay, uh, you should do this, you should do that. It's like everyone is looking for themselves how to market the games uh, best. So there's no guideline what to do best, what which channels to use. The, uh, one publisher is using uh, Facebook and YouTube, and the other one is using normal CPM uh, models from advertisers, which I heard from the other side isn't the best thing, but it seems to work. So it's really confusing to get a picture of how the MENA region works in terms of marketing. When it comes to um, the stats, so, you know, um, company stats in terms of their numbers, yeah. how many games how many games are being downloaded, who's using it, you were finding that in your research prior to coming here that 
there was a big black hole. Yes. Now, what, what could the game developers in the region be doing to remedy that situation so that those looking from the outside right. in have a better idea of what they're dealing with okay. so that they can enter the market? Well, first of all, if you have if you have a game, then you obviously should track um, the user behavior and the user data. So you always have some kind of um, some kind of program that you integrate in your in your uh, in your game, like a just a flurry uh, uh, pass offers. Um, they they track the user behavior. How long does it did it play? The cheat play. Uh, what buttons were hit, how many times and what time, uh, KPIs, retention, um, monetization, all those are tracked and can be used to analyze what's going wrong or good in our game. And what here the MENA region needs to do is gather those information anonymously and just share those information work together. You know, I don't I don't I don't wanna know like Hey, how much revenue do you do on your um, on your game? But what I want to know is how much revenue do like the top hundred games in the Mina region do? And the, so you you don't give any crucial detailed information from your company. It's just gathering of information and use that to 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 learn and to do it better. Okay, great. Thank you so much.